Assalamu alaikum friends my name is Muhammad Yunus and I am Odoo technical developer in this video we are going to talk about how to create a menu and sub menu in Odoo website so um, the purpose of the task is uh, to display all the courses when someone click on the uh, sub menu like the courses menu and it will display all these courses so inside the menu item we will redirect uh, we will add a redirect link to display the courses uh, like to call this our template and in the next video we will improve this page and we will display it uh, like to uh, add some more information in it but uh, for this purpose first of all uh, what we will go what we will do is to uh, create a new file with the name uh, website menus dot xml and then we need to add the xml tag encoding and then we need to add the Odoo tag and after that we need to define the parent menu first so keep in mind that um, uh, in Odoo 12 and onward Odoo uh, added multi website functionality so for this purpose we cannot directly uh, define the parent id because whenever we create multiple websites it uh, it automatically create uh, the the uh, external id for uh, the website uh, sorry for the parent menu so uh, we uh, we need to use a search function to uh, allocate uh, the parent id parent menu item so first of all we need to add a record is equal to record id is equal to menu uh, open academy uh, academy uh, but oh, one thing is uh, you can copy and paste uh, the whole uh, uh, data from your uh, Odoo base code so for this purpose we will use model is equal to we need to search inside website dot menu and this and these are the different menus that are available so we will just first copy it from this one this is the home menu and paste it here so we will just change uh, some of the um, IDs and uh, the name so here it is menu home so we will change it to menu open academy uh, um, main menu okay and here uh, it should be like uh, open academy and in the url of we will add nothing because uh, this is the parent menu and it should not redirect to any url and inside the parent we need to add uh, something like this so for example search equal to here we need to add a search like uh, to search uh, to search the menu item where parent id is not defined like parent id is false and we need to add uh, also a search for the website so we need to add specifically uh, a website id uh, because if we don't uh, to it it will create the menu items for all the websites so we will add it here like website id and in this case if you don't know uh, what is the website id what you can do is to go to Udo and then uh, website and then configuration and here you will see the websites so here it, there are uh, two websites so you need uh, we need to work on this website so you open it and then uh, view metadata so here you will be able to see uh, the id of the website okay and uh, after that uh, we need to uh, search for this like obj object and then we need to use dot env dot ref and here we need to it the external id of the website okay then dot id 
So this is how you can get the external ID of the website and the basis of the external ID. So we need to add uh, uh, like website ID is equal to this ID. And if you don't, if you want to add the ID directly, like uh, here in this case, the ID is one. So you can just do it directly like this. Directly like one. Okay. So uh, this is uh, done. And then here we need to add a website also. Uh, field name is equal to website ID. Okay and inside the website id we know we need to add the reference Sorry, just close it we need to add the reference of the website which is uh, which already we have uh, done it which is um, website dot default website so this is actually the external id of the website so this will add the uh, uh, parent menu item uh, for our website and uh, let me just add this uh, XML file in the manifest at the bottom uh, views views and then like this and uh, then uh, we need to add copy just copy and paste it copy and paste it and then this is uh, the sub menu courses you can see like courses and here we need to add the URL so what URL we need to add here is for example if you go to this page and we can just copy this URL and just paste it and in case of parent we can just add directly the reference of the ID uh, which is in this case open academy dot uh, open academy dot this ID okay like this this is the id and sequence is 10 you can add whatever you want and this is the for uh, this website so let me just uh, update the module and then let uh, see the change okay go to apps click the upgrade button to upgrade the module and then we will go to this uh, we will refresh this website page or uh, to see whether the menu item has been added or not so we got an error message in valid website okay so we made a spelling mistake which is uh, like it is website uh, what is the spelling mistake here sorry uh, where we made a spelling mistake which is website id okay so here we made a spelling mistake like this and then upgrade the module again and i hope so this time it will upgrade successfully okay so it has been upgraded and then let me refresh this page and let me go to the home page so here you can see the uh, menu item and the sub menu item has been added and here i if you click on the courses so you will see this page whenever we uh, click on any page you will see that it has been redirected to the other page which display the detail of this course and this is it for this video and in the next video we will discuss uh, how to improve this page and uh, we will also add some buttons here to go back to the previous page uh, like this so keep watching the videos and keep uh, and also don't uh, forget to subscribe to our channel uh, also click the bell icon so that you can get the updates of the upcoming videos thank you